Yeah, RSL, after two extremely violent days on Friday and Saturday, today has been relatively calm. That is relatively calm. It is still an extremely tense situation here, and the possibility for more violence and an explosive situation here is still very much a possibility. Now, Israeli security forces launched several raids on Palestinian homes in the last 36 hours, including the home of the Palestinian who carried out the murder of three Israelis in the West Bank settlement of Halamish on Friday night. That man posted on Facebook. Facebook before he launched the attack uh, Friday that he was, quote, going to die for Al-Aqsa. That reference, of course, to the current conflict over Israel's decision to install metal detectors at the entrance of Jerusalem's holiest site, which set off violent protests on Friday and left hundreds of Palestinians injured and three dead. Jews call the area the Temple Mount, while Muslims call it the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Israeli officials installed the metal detectors at the entrance of the Al-Aqsa Mosque uh, after three Palestinians Palestinians launched an attack there uh, about a week or so ago that killed two Israeli police officers. Muslims uh, viewed this move as a unilateral step that undermined the status quo agreement that governs sort of changes uh, to that area. Basically, the status quo says uh, nothing should change there unless everybody, uh, Muslims and the Israelis, all agree to it. Now, the Security Council, the UN Security Council, is supposed to take this issue up on Monday, but Arthel, as we've seen in the past, the uh, outside groups like the Security Council will have very little ability to ratchet down tensions here. And given what we've seen in the past few years with this issue and with the tensions between Israeli and Palestinians, there is still very much a possibility that we will see continued bloodshed and conflict here in the next few days and possibly weeks, Arthel. Unfortunately, emotions on high. Connor Powell, thank you so much.